Hi guys, it's Melanie here with Addicted to Planning and I thought I would pop on and give you guys a quick little video, um, a review per se of the, the new treats I just received. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that this came and, and in my photo I've clearly already been into it. But if you are curious how it came packaged, I thought I would give you that experience. But I received on Friday, this is um, a Sojourner um, Weeks Folio. It is the Mega Weeks Folio. And it has no pocket, it has no elastics. It is in the uh, leather Getty, G-E-T-I. And um, let's see. I will share it with you. I did pop on YouTube a lot when I was thinking about ordering this and I couldn't find any videos on either really the leather or and definitely not the folio um, in the week size. I was I was really looking to see kind of like what the inside pockets look like, how it fit the weeks and I couldn't find one. So I'm hoping that this helps somebody out there who might be considering a similar folio. Um, so it's got the little Sojourner logo down there. When you open it up, it's got she sends it looks like this is my first order from her so this is a little sample of another leather it doesn't say what leather this is which is unfortunate because i kind of like it and i would like to know but anyway so i'm guessing it's one of the darker browns but a little leather sample and then a little card um, where she uh, talks about i guess the company um, itself uh, so that was cute i mean if you want i mean i could probably cut out this and make it a little die cut it is adorable anyway so this is the folio as you can see it is very shiny uh, the reason I chose this one out of all the other leathers is because she boasts that this is the thinnest one that they've got it is is very thin you can see right there now with the um, other leather cover that I have for my weeks which is um, the hand stitch leather tee uh, it's it's obviously a thicker leather and my complaint was just throwing it into my bag was was big So I went back to the clear cover on cover. This obviously does not add a lot of bulk at all But you can see how shiny it is front and back um, not really a lot of Distressing to it yet. I didn't request anything special the inside has it looks four card slot pockets um, and then just the slide on each side where you put the weeks. Um, I was hoping that this one was actually going to be, um, I guess that's horizontal, so that I could tuck um, the stencils in there. Uh, but I'm wondering if maybe I might get lucky and the smaller stencil that I just got might fit in there. But, um, but anyway, so let's put the weeks in it so that you can see it. This is my regular size weeks, but it is fattening up to be a mega size anyway and I do have a mega coming for um, 2020 so I don't have the cover on cover on this because since I am sticking both sides into the the actual leather itself it didn't make any sense to me it's not like I'm gonna be able to salvage any pockets or the pen loop or anything like that so I just took it off I'm like why bother so I'm sorry I'm watching the camera while I'm trying to squeeze this guy in but fits like a glove it actually has a little bit of room you can see on each side but I would imagine as this thickens up that'll get pushed more to the side I know you're asking or, cons or curious sorry it smells phenomenal of course it does it is a beautiful piece of leather um, so it has a great smell but it's like that it's almost like a caramel brown not not really a dark brown but so that fits fine I stuck a couple of things in here um, like my, well, this was the stencil that I decided I'm going to probably carry around. So I shoved that in the back, which fits just fine. The little booklet that I'm going to keep carrying around, that fits back there as well. But the stencil wasn't in the way. Um, and then since it does not have, oh, and then I, of course, I have a washi card, but since I do not have a pen loop, I've been using the, um, what is this, rose gold Ollie clip as a pen loop. So I've had that on the front there, and I've just slid this here. So I'm a little embarrassed because I'm sure everybody out there already knows this, and clearly I do not. But what I'm learning is that a folio with no elastic is perfect when you want to leave this on your desk 
if this is just going to sit at home and you just want to, you know, pop it open and, you know, journal in it or whatever, and then put it back on your desk, a folio is ideal. However, <laughs> if you are chucking this baby into your bag, you, you know, these are going to, this is the bag that's going to open, my wallet's going to hit it, it's going to get, you know, crushed. So I didn't think that through. And so for the past weekend, because I've only had it for the weekend, I've actually used, and I'm surprised I didn't bring it up with me and I'm embarrassed to say that I did not, but anyway, it's one of those fabric little hair ties. So I have that wrapped around this while it sits in my bag to keep it closed. So I'm trying to decide, what do I do? Do I cardinal sin it up and pop a hole right here and put my own elastic on here? Um, do I continue to use the hairband? Um, I, don't, I don't know, I don't know what to do, but I didn't think of that and uh, I wish I would have. But it is still a absolute gorgeous, look as you can see it adds no bulk, super thin, um, nice little cover. So I do recommend it, especially if maybe you're looking at this leather for maybe a journal that sits on your desk, <laughs> um, or like me, you wanna put a hole in there and put an elastic on it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think I should stick a hole in this thing and and uh, put my own elastic on it? Do you think I should um, sell it and keep searching for the perfect cover? Um, but it's here and it's beautiful. It's so soft, so smooth, so shiny. Uh, but I did wanna at least show people what that looks like. Her folio covers for the weeks, as well as this Getty Brown for those that might be considering purchasing either the color or a folio or whatnot. But, so that's the cover. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, if that's easier, drop me a note there. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, but that's where I am with this thing, undecided, but still carrying it around with a hair tie, kind of funny. Um, the other thing I may do is um, those Leuchtturm, I'm sure I'm butchering the name, but sticky things with the little pen loop. I might attach one here at the back. So that my, I need a pen, I need a pen. <laughs> I don't know what I'm thinking, but anyway, that's that guy. If you're interested in sticking around for another minute or two, I just got Jet Pen's Happy Mail. Nothing too exciting. I didn't um, order Hobonichi uh, weeks from Jet Pen's because mine's coming from the Hobonichi website, but I am, I was, I'm still on the hunt for the ideal pen. So I'm trying these two out. This is the Juice Up point four in black. Um, I prefer retractable if at all possible. So I haven't even tested this out yet. Um, so I'll do some pen tests. If you're interested, let me know and I will maybe post a pic of that on Instagram. And then this one, someone else told me about this one. It's the Energel Klena. This one's the point four. I had originally ordered a four pack. I think it was four, four or five from Amazon. Uh, I think they were $15. It had this pink color in a full barrel, it had a blue, it had a brown, it had this one, so maybe it was four. But anyway, this colored barrel was the only one that had black ink in it. I was actually kind of surprised because some of the reviews had read that people had wished that the ink color matched the barrel. And I was like, well, no, I actually want all black. Um, and it turned out only this one was black. There was a pink, there was a blue, and there was a brown. Um, but it was the 0.38 uh, millimeter nib. And I did find it a little bit too fine. So I went when I placed my order on jet pens, I saw that they had the 0.4 black ink, just the single pen. I didn't have to buy a whole pack of four of them to find this out. But so this is the other one that I'm going to uh, try out. So we'll see how that goes. But the other stuff that I got from jet pens, and I thought it'd be fun to open this on camera. And now I'm realizing that this is probably gonna be loud and annoying. And if it is, I apologize. I could turn the volume down for just a sec, or I'll just slide it out nice and neat like this. So nothing too earth shattering here. So I got the little Hobonichi stencil, which I have been eyeing for a while, um, hoping that I will use it and not just, you know, something to buy. I got the um, brown and pink, I guess, or they called it gray. I think they called it gray and pink um, pencil board. So as you know, the one that I usually carry around, this little guy right here, um, I don't find that writing on it is really smooth and I'm sure it's because it's laminated. Somebody did a video, I think it was Plan to Create. She actually keeps a 
piece of cardboard that's cut to this size because that when you're writing on it provides a nicer surface so if this doesn't work like I'm hoping it will then maybe I'll do that too but I just thought of that too the other thing I wanted to mention is I took all that stuff out of here because because it's a folio and it doesn't really you know close I've slid all of this stuff out <laughs> now it's just sitting on my desk um, but anyway so the other two things that I ordered, so I ordered this, which is, as you probably all know, is the um, Midori Traveler's Notebook Pocket. And my thought was, um, it's bigger than, you know, the pocket that comes with the weeks, but I measured it and it, it's gonna fit like this section perfectly. Now I probably won't put it there. I will probably put it over here. So, this way because this little guy right here these slide out all the time it drives me psycho like i'm like trying to i always shove them in really far and hope they stay there but they don't so i figured this one might be a nicer pocket because it's bigger and it also has this little section right here especially since i'm giving up my clear cover on cover multitude of pockets so i did order that uh, for jet pens we'll see how that goes uh, and then the last thing i ordered which um, these are Midori weather stickers. And I will say I kind of added this to cart just so that I could get the free shipping. But I thought they were adorable. They're like a good size for the weeks. And um, so those will hang out in my, my book to mark the weather. But so that's all my awesome stuff. Um, I know it's not a very long video or a very informative video, but uh, hopefully you got something out of that. And um, I, uh, as always, appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on this bad boy and what I should do, because I'm at a loss, but it is pretty. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Instagram is down below if, if we're not connected there, and I um, uh, appreciate you dropping by. Talk to you soon.